I also do not care that people think that I use slimming filters because I most definitely do not. Um, it's angles. Like, if I sit like this, you can see double chins, but that's, I'm forcing my head. Man. It is really, really unfortunate to see Becky in some of these uh, situations, dude. Like, this one is night and day, bro. What? What? What is happening here, dude? You, these, these filters nowadays are actually magnificent, given that they're able to smooth down the face so drastically. I mean, you don't even see a pore on her face at all. And over here, what is this? What happened? Let me move myself down over here so we can get a good angle of this absolutely insane i one thing when i when i first started watching becky i had not realized how big she was because when i see her face naturally right on tiktok it's so great like it's amazing for somebody of her size but then you see her in other angles where somebody takes a picture of her outside in the natural environment in the wild as you would and it's like what dude it's so impractical to have filters because if you ever do anything outside of your own environment it's gonna look crazy and as you can see here this one okay this angle right here and where is it oh my god this one right here is insane bro look at this one what happened bro what is this like model pose and then <laughs> fucking majin boo from the Boo Saga, dude, of Dragon Ball Z. What happened? Why does she do this? 12 hours in between the pictures is crazy, dude. But a lot of people pointed out to her, and I guess her response is that it's just the angles. <laughs> it's crazy. I know this is a what I eat in a day video, but somebody on my Discord, which by the way, joined the Discord. Thank you, who the person who posted this picture, this video. Um, this is like I've always known that she's had filters, but it is drastic to see the differences here. It's because I most definitely do not. Um, it's angles. Like how, how many angles? What kind of angles do you think you got going on here, dude? It's not even an angle at this point. Damn, this one is crazy, dude. Look at that. Look at the difference, dude. Look at the face structure. You can actually see a neck on the one on the left. You where is the neck on the right? There's nothing. There's no neck. The body shape is so unfortunate. I got to keep it a buck, dude. It is actually uncomfortable. And to, to, to see the drastic difference between left and right is actually insane. I will give her that her hairline is pretty good. She has a really good hairline. But god damn, Becky. The difference is insane. Why would you ever do this? I sit like this. You can see double chins. But that's I'm forcing my head back. Ooh, damn. Damn. Like this, my phone is on like a little angle. Oh, oh man, that side profile is unfortunate. It's always the worst to see people from their sides, especially if you're talking about big belly people. You you're just seeing literally nothing but nothing but gut, nothing but like it, it's just look at the size, look at the amount of back. It's crazy, dude. Absolutely insane. And you know what? I'm also gonna give her a little bit of shit. For the Crocs. I can't, anybody that wears Crocs, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I thoroughly disagree with the idea and the positioning of those shoes. I just don't like them. I think that they are a step above flip flops. I don't think anybody should wear flip flops. Flip flops are actually disgusting. And even when I wear flip flops, which I'm only wearing them at the beach, I don't even like wearing them. And I find it disrespectful for, for people to even look at my uncomfortable toes. The amount of times. I've seen dudes walking out of the house with crusty black underneath the foot. You know what I'm talking about? Like guys that are walking around and they got these crusty, the blackest soles you've ever seen in your life. Crustated, like they have been walking on tar. And they just are okay with it. The most uncupped toenails you've ever seen in your life. Toenails that are starting to curve up. Athlete's foot on their ankles. And I'm just looking at this. I'm looking at the Gouda. I'm looking at the Provolone on the bottom of their foot. I'm just thinking... Why would you ever want me to see this disgusting foot that you have right here on your, on your leg? It's gross. It's, it's absolutely an abomination. And people wearing Crocs, it's a little bit better because sometimes you wear, it's more presentable to wear socks with them and you can get the fuzzy kind, whatever, and you could put stuff inside of them, the customization, the widgets or whatever you call them. I get it, but they are gross, okay? If you wear Crocs, you got none of my respect. Okay, maybe you, but that's only because you're amazing. Oh. Um, let me change my angle on my phone. So I just don't care. Damn. Damn. That one's crazy. 
crazy, bro. Anymore that people think that. Whoa, dude. Okay. This is all right. So like, I'm guessing she did a mukbang with somebody else. Dude, look at the difference, man. She's got so much face here and no neck at all. And this just kind of goes to show you, like, she'll try to put on this illusion of like, oh no, I'm a fat person with a face. I'm a fat person with a neck. Nah, it's a filter. It's a fucking filter, dude. And I had not realized that filters were this good, but they're doing a lot of work for her, dude. You got to employ that filter at this point. I use one because I don't <laughs> literally look. No, you know what's crazy? Oh my God. Somebody that outlined the neck is actually crazy. When she says that she doesn't use filters, I know it's bullshit because I did a video on Becky where she was eating something and I saw when she was eating it, the filter that was on her face tried to position itself on top of the french fry that she was eating. So it was like a yellow french fry, but when she put it on her face, it turned white, like pale white. And I guess she had not realized that because she makes literally 10 videos a day eating, dissecting, devouring large quantities of food. So it's like one video was literally like 20 fucking, you know, whatever. She does 20 of them in a day. So it's like, it's nothing to her. She doesn't even recognize it. So when she was eating, I saw the filter try to latch on. It smoothed out the face. It contoured the french fry which is crazy i mean uh to what to what degree does a filter recognize your face and then also recognize the french fries your face is crazy uh i don't know if that would mean what that means about becky but insane the amounts of work that filter is doing for her wow damn bro this is an angle can change any free cookies brownies and cake free pt session nah don't do that you know, for someone who claims... I just, I had to show you guys that because it was just, I saw it and I was like, that's insane, dude. That's got to be one of the best ways to start this video. Watching Becky, those before and afters, saying that she never would use filters. And obviously, we just saw her using tons and tons of filters. We're just going to rerun it for the full, just for the full one, because <laughs> just to see the whole thing, right? Just to, just to show the whole thing. I'm going to take myself out of it. I also do not care that people think that I use slimming filters because I most definitely do not. Um, it's angles. Like, if I sit like this, you can see double chins, but that's, I'm forcing my head back. Sitting like this, my phone is on like a little angle. Um, let me change my angle on my phone. So I just don't care anymore that people think that I use one because I don't. <laughs> Literally, look. An angle can change anything you know for so much evidence dude it's unfortunate for becky because i know that it, her using these filters is an indication that she wants to be thinner in the face or at least thinner in general but it's obviously not applied to her because she's fat as fuck and if you actually wanted to lose weight dude you could have had that face you could have had the chiseled jaw you could have had a neck or two and you could have been able to like see the defining features of your body but instead you want to eat those double chocolate chick fucking you know brownie cakes and you know, you want to go and you want to get that Bruce cake and you want to get all these things and you want to make your own delicacies. Like, it's not practical for somebody to be the size that you are and eating the stuff that you do and then also want to be thin. You can't have it both ways. Someone who claims that they don't really like ice cream. I'm lying here on my bed with my windows wide open, listening out for the ice cream man's little jingle. She's fat as fuck. Can we just say that for a second, dude? I mean, to sit there and say that you don't like ice cream, but you're sitting there waiting for the ice cream man to pull up, your mouth watering, dude, thinking about the sweet delicacies that he's gonna present to you. It's ice cream, by the way. I mean, I get it, it's great, it's beautiful, it's amazing, but this is something that I would do when I was like, I don't know, six, seven years old, I would hustle my mom for a few dollars so I can go down there and get the vanilla with the jimmies on top, that's what I would do. But me as a grown man, right? I would never because I walked down. I, I, I was at the beach the other day and there was an ice cream man. It wasn't actually really even an ice cream man. It was a Vietnamese ice cream man, except it was a woman. And I looked at the price and I almost could. I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw that the price was seven dollars for a cone. And I was just thinking like, what? Seven dollars for a bullshit ass cone? I can go right now to stop and shop and I can get a a big bag of cones for two bucks, two dollars, and I'm getting like maybe 12, 12 to 15 cones. And if I go to the, uh, guess what? If I go to the ice cream section, what am I getting? Ben and Jerry's, maybe five, six bucks for the tub. I could take that home and easily make, let me think about it, probably easily 12, 15 ice creams out of that, no problem. Big ass ones too. And I could sell them on the street, hawking ice cream cones. Yo, you want this ice cream cone for free? Yeah, dog, I'll, I'll give it to you for free. Because like $7 for an ice cream, I guess soft serve, but it's like, dude, I'm not buying that shit, $7? But Becky is obviously different. 
and even though she just told us that she doesn't like ice cream, she's still gonna body wash that shit like it's nothing, and she's sitting there waiting for the ice cream man to pull up, which is crazy as fuck, like, you got that guy on retainer, do you, do, how do you know he's even gonna pull up in your neighborhood, like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's not even funny, Becky, it's actually, it's diabetic, it's not funny, it's diabetic. I just want a Mr. Whippy. That's, listen, uh, you know what I want? Oh, man, I just really want a b bajillion dollars. I just want a Tesla. I just want to be a rich, famous, and good-looking individual. I just want to have a big, ginormous meat. Oh, wait, no, I already have that one. But the point I'm making is, obviously, you're going to want a lot of things. But is that a reason to go out and w sit there waiting on your bed for the ice cream man like you're nine years old? I don't get it, Becky. Why are you so big-backed? Why are you so big back, bro? Pure big back behavior. With a flake and sherbet. And Whoa, calm down, Becky. You got a fucking wish list of ice cream? I just want a Mr. Whippy with a flake and sherbet and sprinkles. So yeah, I'm going to wait here with my window open, listening out for the ice cream, man. I've heard of people waiting for the delivery guy, like the Amazon delivery driver. I've heard of that. I've heard of people waiting for their food deliveries, but I never heard somebody just waiting for the RNG to roll in the right direction for the ice cream man to show up so you can get your ice cream cone, dude. I just, for some reason, dude, I think this is fat as fuck. I really think that this is some pure obesity right now. To sit here and watch this woman tell us that she needs that good ice cream in her mouth, dude. She's war She's like out the window smelling for the ice cream man. It's just, it's just something about it. Just, it's pure disgustingness, gross, nasty behavior. I'll let you know if he comes. If he comes, meaning like she doesn't even know if the guy's going to roll up or not. I, you know what I'm talking about? At that point, just, just get the ice cream man's number. That's probably the only guy you're ever going to get a number for anyway. Let's be honest here for a second. Because it, it is a gamble. You might as well just see like, yo, bro, I'm going to have to pull up real quick, bro. I need that double, I need that double scoop. I need the jimmies on top, bro. You know what I need. Pull up. Like, this is some pure, this is domestic violence for your stomach. Let's just be, can we just be honest for a second? Like, this is like absolutely some big back behavior to a different degree. You know, for the ice cream, man. I'll let you know if he comes. I love how she says, like, I'll let you know as if we're invested. Like, this is a story. You know, there's a big, giant, long storyline. And we're invested whether or not the ice cream man's going to show up. Good evening. Oh. Becky, it's not healthy. Okay? I got to keep it a buck. It's real not healthy. It's not healthy to be like, I can hear him. What the fuck you mean you can hear him? What are you talking about? How fat are you to sit there and go, I can hear him? Why are you even concerned like this? It's an ice cream. It's not like it's nothing special. It's ice cream, bro. You've been eating that shit every day of your life anyway. I could hear him, man. Yo, bro. This woman is literally on some different shit, dude. Like, she's stalking the ice cream, man. I can hear him. Bro, Becky, calm the fuck down. It is. Guys, I got... Crazy as fuck, bro. That's the fastest I've ever seen Becky ever run, dude. And wouldn't you know, it's for the ice cream. It's for the, the, the frozen delicacy, the beautiful frozen delicacy, bro. Talking about some, I can hear the ice cream man right now. I can smell him too. Oh, he smell good. Oh, that double chocolate chip. Oh, mm, where is he? I need him right now. I got to get that ice cream. I need that shit. Running down the fucking stairs for the ice cream flakes, bro. It's just something different about it. You know, I, why? Why, Becky? Why you do this to yourself? Got my ice cream. I got. Yeah, she got that double deluxe, bro. She didn't even get the jimmies. Did she get the jimmies? Two flakes. Oh, she did get the jimmies on the side, dude. Damn, she double coated it too. Damn, your hand is big as fuck. Damn. Damn, that shit's big as hell. How big is this cone, bro? Is this per scale? God damn. That shit is big as fuck. Big and hairy. And I got sprinkles, sherbet, and sauce. Man, she got the chocolate on it too. Do you guys see that? That's like chocolate sticks, like choco sticks or whatever. We don't have those here in America. If we do, I haven't. I'm not aware of them. I'm not a big back, so I don't really have that kind of behavior on me. But I guess we'll see her body slam this. Be an ice cream. From the ice cream. Does, did anybody else in the house get one, or is it, was it just you running down the stairs? Like she lives with her family, right? Like she lives with her mom and dad. I don't have a problem with her living with her mom and dad. She obviously can't take care of herself, so. It's okay that she has somebody else there to subsidize her behavior. 
obviously. She's not a like a real adult. But she's sitting here body slamming this ice cream. Can you imagine like you're just sitting there, you're like the dad opening up the newspaper, reading the sports illustrator section or whatever the fuck. I don't know. I haven't seen a newspaper in like 10 years. And you just see Becky like boom, 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 running down the stairs, smiling ear to ear, dude. Talking about some ice cream. I, I, I can hear the ice cream. I can smell them. I can smell the ice cream, man. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. I know he's coming. I can smell it. And then you're just like, what the fuck is going on, Becky? Damn. Think the fastest you've ever seen your daughter run down the stairs? I don't know, bro. It just kind of seems crazy that Becky is in these situations. Does anyone try and save the flakes till the end? Nobody. Because I don't. Nobody. Nobody does that, Becky. I feel like a kid. I love them. You feel like a kid? You're 32. You know, you're 32 years old, Becky. I don't know what you mean by you feel like a kid. You know, sometimes I feel like a kid when I get that special delicacy, like that, you know what I'm talking about, that meal that you made, like, oh, I feel like a kid again, you know? Or maybe you're going down a swing, like the other day, I was at a playground, there was nobody, kid. there was no kids there, okay? It was late at night, it was like fucking 10 o'clock at night, and I went down the slides, and it was beautiful. Yeah, I wasn't there by myself either. Don't think I'm a fucking weirdo going to, rolling up to like, whatever. I got a whole bunch of mosquito bites to prove it, but... I went down the slide, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's so great. Um, but obviously, because I'm a grown man, I can't be doing stuff like that. I got to, like, pay bills and stuff and, you know, wear the same color socks and tell people that I am responsible and things like that. And, like, I have to buy lamps and stuff. But for somebody like Becky to sit there and go, like, I feel like a kid again, when do you not feel like a kid? You never, you never don't get your way. You always get your shit. When you want something, guess what happens? You get it. Like Ariana Grande said, you like my hair? Gee, thanks. I bought it. Uh, or no, did she not say that? She said, I want it, I bought it, or something like that. That's Becky. That's her whole entire life. Like, she has no responsibility. She just eats whatever the fuck she wants to eat. And it seems like that's her only hobby. I don't know if Becky does anything else. Does anybody know? Can somebody let me know? Does she have any other hobbies besides literally body slamming copious amounts of calories? Because I would love to know. Now, if you get an ice cream from the ice cream, mom, um, what you get from them? Yeah, has to be. I haven't been to the ice cream man, like literally bought an ice cream from an ice cream man since I was like nine. Not even joking, dude. I knew a dude that used to work at the ice cream. Like uh, my family knew this guy. His name was Dizzo and he owned a big ice cream truck and he would roll up. He would give me free ice cream, dude. Oh man, it was great. It was awesome. It was so great. But this was when I was a child. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he died or something like that. He was a big drug addict. But uh, I guess it really didn't matter since I was getting free ice cream and I wasn't a drug addict. I was like nine or eight or something like that. So it didn't really matter to me. And you guys might be going, David, how did you know a drug addict when you were like eight? You didn't? Bro, Where? what areas did you guys grow up in? Like I grew up in areas where people were doing drugs. I remember literally being like eight years old, going to my friend's family house. My friend's, my friend's mom and dad were like snorting lines of cocaine on top of the microwave while we were playing like the Nintendo fucking... Uh, GameCube, dude. Not even playing with you. Like, I literally saw them snorting cocaine. That was like an everyday thing. I saw that all the time. It was just a casual thing. Like, nobody ever talked about it either. Like, this guy literally, I knew this guy. Um, this dude's dad, he was literally known as the snowman. And it wasn't because his hair was white. It was because he did a lot of cocaine. But regardless, um, uh, th that family was very irresponsible, by the way. But it's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but you know what I'm saying. Like the yellow ice cream from the Mr. Whippy, not the, like, the pure white one. I love the yellow ice cream. Gotta be cultured. Let me know what you prefer. I prefer you not to eat it. You know when you just go somewhere that is so bougie for breakfast? Nope. Today I went to the Baked Cafe in West Kirby. Oh my gosh. It Why was... do you have to go to restaurants every day? It's either you're going to a bougie restaurant, you're going to some place with sloppy, disgusting foods, or you might be going to a buffet. I've seen her go to buffets multiple times, which is setting yourself up for failure, literally. But you're going to these establishments all the fucking time. And if you're not going to these establishments, you're ordering it from the Uber Eats delivery. I just got to know, how much money is she making, dude? Because it seems like she has no problem affording all this stuff. I don't know if she's going into debt or she's overdrafting to, like, buy these particular types of food. Because I'm going to give it a buck. Some of these food deliveries will be like 30, 40, 50 bucks. And she's doing this shit three, four, five, six, seven times a day. And I'm not joking either. Like if you go on her TikTok, she's uploading two, three, four, five times a day. Easily, easily. And it's big meals. And sometimes she cooks in. But you got to understand when you're, when you're eating four, five, six, seven times a day and you eat, you eat in three times, that's nothing. Because you just ordered out like a good three more times after that. So I just want to know like how does she get her money and... 
how how does she have as much as she does? Because I would because like it to me, I couldn't do this. It, it, to sit there and spend thirty, forty, fifty dollars a day, um, or more, she got to be spending at least seventy dollars a day on these fast food takeouts, right? It was so beautiful. The vibe was just so nice. Let me I... see the the menu. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Just for the pancakes. Look at the fucking pancakes, dude. Buttermilk pancakes, ten bills, bro. You want the veggie breakfast? That's eleven bills. And you know she's getting other stuff on the side. You know she's getting some of these appetizers, these additions. You know she's getting the dessert after, dude. You looking at easily just for yourself here? I'm, I wouldn't even be twenty bucks easily, more than twenty bucks for just for yourself. Not even, not even for the other person. I've never been here, but I'll definitely be going back. Oh, I know that, dude. I mean, you going back, and regardless of whether or not it tasted good. So I got a watermelon cooler. Look at the little, little part in the watermelon. Ugh. Ugh. Why does it look like that? It looks dried up, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like it needs some moisturizer or something like that. Am I wrong? This doesn't look good. I mean, it, the pancakes look like they've been sitting out all night. I don't know what this is. The strawberries are obviously GMO'd, which I have no problem with. Um, everything here looks GMO'd. They literally put a flower on your fucking food, bro. Are you, like, two flowers? What do you think I am, a camel? You think I'm going to eat the fucking flowers, bro? Why would you ever? Look, some people are really bougie, and they want weird stuff on their food, right? And, or they go to restaurants and it's all about the presentation and they get those weird foods that are covered in gold or they get the stuff that's just like very very weird to eat you know things that are coated in like weird shit and they're not they're not supposed to eat the actual food or whatever fuck that i don't want that shit if you come to my if you're bringing me my food and my shit got flowers on it um i'm i'm leaving dude and i'm not paying for the i'm not paying for the bill either why the fuck are you putting flowers on my food what the fuck else is in this shit that i can't eat why the fuck is there flowers on my shit Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Leave it down below. It was so refreshing, but guys, can we just appreciate the present? What is this thing? What is this right here? Is this another thing that you can't eat? Like a gum pancakes. wrapper? So I got the berries and cakes and it came there's another, with like- There's like two more flowers right here. Dude, get the fuck off me, dude. I'm not buying this shit. It's got flowers on it. Ferrero Rocher, banana. You didn't take the flowers off? Blueberries, raspberries. Did you, did you eat the flowers? Becky. You didn't eat the flowers. These blackberries and a little pot of honey. And oh my gosh, these are actually the best pancakes I've ever had. Sure. I paid for this, by the way. And honestly. I know you. I mean, who else would fucking pay for this shit? It's literally like $50. I would pay double the amount. It was absolutely beautiful from literally start to finish. So you'll definitely be seeing me back she, here again. She eats way too much for me to hear these, these statements, dude. I don't really care. Like, you, you know, you're telling me. Oh, yeah. I would pay double for this. I would eat this shit again, this and this. You would eat literally everything you eat again. Let's be honest here for a second. It doesn't matter what it is. I've literally seen you eat pure slop and tell me that shit was a 10. So at this point, when you say like, oh, my God, guys, this is the best. Absolutely the best when it comes to pancakes. So, you know, I'm going to have to go back and get it again. I know, I'm, uh, Becky, I've seen you eat literally, like, you might as well just be eating this shit off the floor at this point, because you're, you you don't give a fuck. You're gonna eat this shit regardless. The little area where you sit as well is just so cute and cozy. It's dog friendly as well. I've seen loads of little dogs in there. And just the area around it as well was so beautiful. But yeah, that was my breakfast today. Beautiful. Absolutely. Just keep in mind, breakfast. How many calories do you think all that shit was? How much? Give me an estimate. They loved it. It's takeaway now. How fat are you that you're so you got so much food that shit can't even stay afloat? That shit just slides off the top. Hi. So we have got dominoes tonight. Haven't had the dominoes in ages, so yeah, been like four days, so you know, ages. We went with this tonight. I love it. Let's dish it I out. I love together. it. I love it. Okay, so first of all, we got some oh they're dominoes cookies. You gotta get the cookies. Dessert. I've seen her eat these cookies before. And sometimes I question whether or not I did the same video twice, but I think this is a different video. She just says it a lot where she goes, oh, no, guys, oh, my God, I've never been to Domino's before. I've never gotten this from Domino's. I haven't eaten at Domino's in so long. And it's like you look at their video catalog. It's been like a month or like three weeks. And she's like, oh, it's been so long. I need to eat the Domino's. We've got Domino's cookies, of course. And then we've got some wedges there. Gotta get the fries, yep. All carbs. We have some 
More wet. Two orders of fries? Two? It wasn't enough for the first one? There's some chicken, chicken strippers are the oh. ones? Yeah, the kickers are the spicy ones, aren't they? Of course, got the big garlic and herb dip. Because... People have told me that these dips are like, what, 200 calories per? Am I wrong in saying that? Somebody let me know down below. But people have told me that these are enormous in calories. Because this is amazing. And then, oh, you got a little one as well in there. Damn, that box looked like you already tried to take a bite, dude. What the hell happened to it? Why does it look so dented? Um, then we went with, we went with. What do you mean we? Why are you acting like this is not just for you? Why are you acting like you're not the only one that's going to be eating this slop? Could we just take a, take a second, okay? I heard Becky saying this a lot, where she goes, oh, that's right, guys. Yes, it's not just for me. But then I see her eating three, four slices. What the fuck are you leaving for the family, dude? Like, you, you, what do you, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I ordered a pizza or two, I might take two or three slices. If I ordered three, if I ordered two boxes, I'm taking three slices, right? But Becky ordering one box, eating half the pizza, and how many people are in this house? Three people at bare minimum. Her, her mom, her dad, maybe some other people. Becky eating half the pizza by herself. And that's disrespectful as fuck. I don't care what anybody says, dude. You eating half the pizza by yourself? Becky, don't act like I don't know that, bro. You know you ordered this for yourself. The barbecue ranch because... Ugh, it looks moist, bro. Ooh, what is this? What is this black sludge? Is not on this side. What happened here? What is that? Ooh, it looks like some soy sauce or something like this. Somebody just sprinkled some soy sauce on that. Is that French fries? You put French fries on that shit? Why does it look bad? This doesn't look good. Am I wrong? Can somebody let me know? Does this look good to you? It looks. It, it looks nasty. It looks like one of those like tar pits that dinosaurs fell in when they were like babies or whatever and we found them like 40,000 years later or like 30 million years later and now we use them for gasoline that's what it looks like here this is my ultimate favorite pizza probably the only pizza i'll have a bit of cheese on what the fuck are you talking about i've literally seen you eat pizza with cheese like any every time i've ever seen you eat pizza what the fuck are you talking about what what do you bro i can literally if I go on a TikTok right now, I could probably find like five or six videos in the last month of her eating pizza. What the fuck are you talking about? And they all they all had cheese on them. Okay. Like the, the big ass Costco pizza that we did a video on like two weeks ago? Yeah, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? I love it. So let's love it. just get the plates. Let's see. Right. Let's see how much she actually takes, dude, okay? Keep in mind, she said this is all for not just her, but her family too. Let's see. Okay, so let's get the pizza, but I love Domino's. Just okay. don't have it that often. Two slices um, right there. So we've got, I'm going to start off with three slices. This is all fucking half the pizza, bro. Look, okay? Three slices. The box usually consists of eight slices, right? This this woman is literally taking almost half of the fucking pizza, bro. Almost half the fucking pizza. The pizza. And then these wedges are all for me. Crazy as fuck. I love a Saturday night takeaway. Crazy as fuck, bro. This is so she really so just one box for you and your your dad and your mom. Think about this for a second, okay? You ordered an entire box of fries just for yourself. And your mom and your dad got to split one. And you think that's okay for yourself. You think because it's pleasing your mouth, because you're feeding your mouth with the potatoes, that is just good, is good for you? Your dad and your mom got to eat half. You don't think that's wrong in any way? Put them there. And then... It's I... looking kind of light, you know? I think you might have to put a little bit of something extra on that plate. I mean, you, you, you don't buy these ginormous sized plates for no reason. Have this dip. I don't really like the barbecue dip from that. Just because got this one. Um, and then obviously got the got the cookies. I forgot about the cookies. Damn, I forgot about the fucking cookies, dude. Them cookies gonna add up, dude. Them cookies is big as hell too. After that, so yeah, let's go and eat some of this. Who agrees that this sauce is like the best ever invented? It's just basic. Like it's not even. Can you imagine saying this is the best sauce in all of London? And it's literally just some pre-made shit that was probably made in like India four months ago and they just like freezed it and they brought it over. <laughs> Can you imagine saying that? Damn. Mm. Uh, why do you like chew like that? Mm. I only really like barbecue based pizzas as well. They're what just... the fuck are you talking about, Becky? The hell you mean you only really like bar- Dude! 
I've literally seen at least five videos of this woman eating big ass pizzas, just cheese sometimes, just pepperoni, nothing else on them. And she's talking about some, I only really like barbecue pizza. You're a fucking liar. You're a liar, dude. I see you multiple times eating pizza that doesn't have the barbecue on it. So what are you talking about? You're lying to me. You're literally lying to me right now. There's no way you're telling me this shit. I am invested in the Becky lore. I know you're lying right now. I've seen you body wash half of a cheese pizza by yourself. No barbecue sauce in sight. Dry. You was feeding your mouth with it. And you loved it. You literally said it was a 10 out of 10. You said that shit was good in your mouth. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? That shit was big. And you told me that shit was good. Just the best. Your buzzers will work. So keep pressing and guessing, guys. Wedges. Who's gonna now but have the best Saturday, everybody. Have the best weekend. Enjoy. And happy takeaway night. Can you takeaway night every night for Becky? I don't know why she even says that. It should just be takeaway week at this point, dude. <laughs> Damn, mm. you have to close your eyes, dude. I feel like she's missing more and more eyes every time I see a video of hers because the weight of her face is like pushing down so heavily on her eyes that it looks like this. Like, that's what it's like, man. Got to have a cookie as uh, well. I forgot about the fucking cookies. How many cookies do you think she ate? Two, three, the box. Hi, everyone. Sam, I am going to be doing, someone give me this idea to do on my live last night. Why are you? <sighs> Who? Who gave you this idea, dude? Who told you about this shit? Who said this shit? Raiding McDonald's McFlurries? Who the fuck told you to do this shit? Who the fuck told you this shit? Let me talk to them. Let me talk to them real quick, dude. They setting you up for failure. And just because somebody tells you to do something doesn't mean you do it, Becky. That's not the, that's not, the, the this is, shouldn't be a reason because somebody said, oh, Becky, um, you know about McFlurries? And you were like, yeah, I need to probably try all of them. I mean, that's just what it is. And the person was like, oh no, I was asking if you knew about them. And you were like, yeah, I'm about to tomorrow. <laughs> I'm about to order all of them. I'm about to eat them all in my mouth. I'm literally going to satisfy my throat tomorrow with all the McFlurries. Can you imagine walking to a Mickey D's? My bad. <laughs> I might have been lying on that one. Walking. But can you imagine going to a McDonald's and be like, yeah, let me get four McFlurries. And the lady back in the counter like, yeah, uh, how, how much How much you say again? How much what you say? How much you say again? Uh, four? Uh, <clears throat> where, where's your family? Uh, four? Well, oh, in their car, huh? They're in the car. For you, you for you, just for you, you know how many calories this is? <clears throat> uh, are you sure? You need four? Four. One, two, three. Uh, four? All right, Becky, Becky Jones. Did, well, that's, that's a, is that what happened? Just because somebody tells you to do it doesn't mean you do it. Rating McDonald's McFlurries. She's so happy. So, these aren't all for me, but we have what you Twix. Dude. Uh, look, I, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I'm gonna keep it a solid buck with you. Becky be lying so fucking hard. This shit is actually so disrespectful because she thinks I'm fucking stupid. Like, she thinks I'm actually dumb. You can't tell me this is not just for you and you're about to put your mouth water on all of them. Is that is that what we're getting right now? You're telling me you're about to be double washing your mouth on these. Getting the liquid Becky juice all over these McFlurries and talk about some, this is not all for me. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Who in their right mind would see you bubble washing all of this shit with your mouth and go, yeah, I guess I'll probably have some of that. No, nobody. Nobody, Becky. You're body slamming this. Let's be honest. Let's just, let's just keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Your mouth. Furries. So, these aren't all for me, but we have... Twix, which looks like it's gonna be my favorite. Oreo. Mars bar. Maltesers. Diabetic, man. This is some pure diabetic shit. This is some pure big back behavior right here, dude. I can't even believe. Who the fuck said, who the fuck said you need to go and try every single McFlurry, dude? Did you think about this yourself? Like, were you scrolling through the McDonald's app the other night and you were like, hey, I'm kind of hungry right now. I probably, I need that McFlurry in my mouth. But I can't, I can't lie. Like, I don't even know if one's really going to be satisfying me. I'm probably going to need two, no, three. 
I'm probably going to need the whole menu. I mean, I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm probably going to need to body wash the entire menu real quick. I mean, something light. Something light before my takeaway. You know, obviously, I'm about to get an Indian right before this. So I need something light. Something that will hold me over until I get that takeout later. Uh, food will probably do me right, maybe. I mean, we'll see, I guess. But I'm going to make a video and tell people that it's a taste test. But in reality, I'm, I'm literally mouthwashing with these things. I'm literally swallowing them down with my whole mouth. Um, So I'm going to be trying each one of these. And then... Seeing which one I like the best. Why? <laughs> Nick Flurry or Fruit Bag? <laughs> you said Matt Flurry, it's Matt Flurry or Fruit Bag? It's Matt Flurry, not Matt Flurry. <laughs> Just been told by my niece. Um, cool. Right, so let's go with this one first. Twix. We're going to rate them out of 10, Porsche. And then obviously, Porsche is going to have one. Her brother's going to sure. have one. <gasps> sure, damn. Oh. Don't put the spoon back in. <sighs> you know, you might have had me. You might have had me. You might have had me if you took the spoon and you put it to the side. And then you got another spoon and put them in there. Because maybe maybe it's okay with you and your family, but I'm going to keep it a buck with you. If I had somebody in my family put a spoon in the food, take a bite, put the spoon back in, that's you. That's you. You got that. That's not for me anymore. That's for your mouth, not for my mouth. So you can go ahead and eat that. I'm good. I'll get my own. I don't want your mouth water, your backwash on my shit. I just don't. Maybe I'm a weird for that one, but I'm not. I know I'm not fucking weird. I know I'm not. I don't care if it's my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, whoever the fuck you got. I don't care. I, I don't want your backwash on my shit. I just don't. And if you're sitting there and you're telling me this is not just for you and you just sit there and just fucking and put it back in there, it's for you. Mm. Shut up. I'm going to give that one. Don't. Don't do it. Just don't. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Don't don't rate them to the end. Let's wait, okay? Let's fucking wait because you have nothing to compare it to. And you didn't even get a default McFlurry to even understand it. Whatever, bro. A nine out of ten. That, you, know, you know what, Becky, bro? You're a fucking failure. You're a fucking failure, bro. I've given up. Becky's on some different shit nowadays, bro. You're sitting here rating that shit out nine out of fucking ten? What is wrong with you, dude? You even have taste buds anymore? A fucking McFlurry? Have you guys even had a McFlurry? It's literally just like 98% sugar. It almost doesn't even taste like anything. Like, I know a lot of people like those, but it's not ice cream. It's just sugar. That's all it is, like sugar and milk. That McFlurry got to 9 out of 10. Crazy. Can I try it? Mm -hmm. No. Damn. I've never tried a Twix before. And then we've got Oreo. Mm. Why are you out of breath? I'm going to give that a six because it's basically just like biscuits crumpled up into it. It's Oreos. Isn't that nice? It's nice, the Twix one, isn't it? That one is my one. What's this one, Mars bar? Yeah. Damn. I'm sorry, everyone who's having these because my... I just put my spoon back in. Yeah, duh. Fucking duh. You did put your spoon back in. All three of them, too. And how much you want to bet that last one, she's going to double dip the spoon in there, too, again? How much you want to bet? Even though she just said she called it out. Oh, I'm sorry. D no, 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 no. I know you're not sorry. You're going to double dip again. Mmm. Dude. Mars bar. Does it really matter, though? Mars bar is going to get an E. No, that's true. Yeah. So and that then, is true, so it's fine. Last one. What is that? Mm -hmm. She put that shit right back in, mm -hmm. dude. I mean, I should like this mm. one. That one's going to get a six, but the Twix one. Ah, oh, the Twix McFlurry. And we need to peel everything. I wonder if we've won. Um, hang on, guys. I've got an extra special one. one <sighs> more? You got more? Just when you thought it was over, dude. Just when you thought it was over. She talking about some, oh, I got one more. Where? From what? Would you order a fifth one? What are the would McDonald's employees just throw one in just for extra? Oh, McFlurry. A fruit oh. bag one. Mmm, <laughs> it doesn't go with ice cream. <laughs> I've actually won again. Oh my gosh, we've got apple pie or fruit bag. You don't need that shit. The apple pies are like fucking 300 calories. You don't need that, Becky. They're setting you up for failure, bro. They should revoke your entire app. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> 
but we're going to choose the fruit bag only because I don't like apple pie. But, yeah, that's a lie. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just overusing this Matt Flurry or fruit bag thing because I love You're it. You're overusing that fucking filter too, bro. Let's be honest. But I think it's hilarious. And that was a good idea. So um, let me know your favorite Matt Flurries in the comments. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm going to be making old school cake today. Yeah, she kind of look real big here, dude. That filter ain't doing her too good here, bro. Damn, what happened to that back wall, bro? It looks unhealthy. I hope you Reach your him with some butter. Line. Some butter? That's... F wait, I don't know about that, dude. You should be putting tin foil down first, right? School cake today. So I hope you Reach your tin with some butter. Line your tin with baking paper. Then add 300 grams of butter. Damn. And 300 grams of caster sugar. Damn. Then whisk it all together on low. Next, we're going to add five eggs. And then after every egg, you have to whisk it like so. <laughs> Can't be bothered to whisk it. You know what's really crazy is like I run into so many people nowadays that don't know how to do, do things manually. Like I remember, man, this girl came over, right? And I was like, hey, can you open up this can? And it was just like a can of like string beans or some shit like that. And she was like, how? And I was like, oh, um, the can opener is in the drawer. And she was like, you don't have a, a electric can opener? And I was like, nope, don't have an electric can opener. Anything I don't have to plug into, I don't plug into it. And plus, I think those are like $50. Why the fuck would I buy one of those? I was like, no, I just have like a regular can opener. It's in the drawer. And she got it. She was like, how do I do it? And I was like, what do you mean? How do you do it? Like, <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? How do you do it? What do you mean? And she was like, I don't, I've never opened a can before with a can opener. And I was like, you're playing with me. Like, you're joking. That's not true. And she wasn't joking. Like, she had never popped a can before with a can opener. So I had to, like, show her to, like, clip it on and then turn it. And then she was like, oh, it's, like, really easy. Yeah. Now, there's a reason why I didn't buy a fucking can opener, an electric one. Why the fuck would I ever buy an electric can opener when I can just do this? That, I can do that easily. Like, I know it requires two hands and it burns a little bit of extra calories than just putting something underneath a electric thing or whatever. But I see a lot of people nowadays that just, like, don't have basic understandings about how things work like i remember i went over to this guy's house and he had a smoke detector the battery was going off right and because it was dead or whatever it was about to die and i asked him I was like why don't you replace the battery and he had not even no noticed that it was going off he had lived with it for so long that he had not even realized that it was like you know actually going off or whatever and i was like why don't you just replace it and he's like i never replaced a smoke detector before and i was like you know, dude, listen, bro. I'll do it for you. Where's your step ladder? I took it down off the wall and I replaced the battery literally within two minutes. It was nothing. But so many people don't even have like base. I know so many guys, right? That don't even have to do laundry, dude. And it's like most of that stuff is automated, dude. You know, like you just push a few buttons, throw some throw some fabric softener in there and then you're good. You just walk away and just leave it there for, for like 45 minutes and come back and then do the drying. I see so many people that don't even have basic understandings about how to like properly take care of themselves. It's crazy. Um, but anyway. Then we're gonna add self-raisin flour. This is 300 grams. I sieve it from so it's nice and smooth. Then add 95 milliliters of milk and some vanilla some extract. Some vanilla. Whisk that all together and put it in your cake tin. Okay. Now it's ready for the oven. Why that's baking, I clean up. She did clean. Get it out of the <sighs> oven. Why do you need cake though? Like out of everything you could have created, why do you have cake? Is this chocolate? Why do you have chocolate? Damn, look at the sweets, bro. Look, at you have so much sweets, you can't even fit in your fridge anymore. And now for the icing. After it's cooled down, add 400 grams of ice into a bowl. Oh, she's making actual Eight icing. Eight of milk, and Whoa. then it's done. And you pour it over. Who's it for, Use though? Use spatula to spread it. And then add whatever sprinkles. Damn, that's a lot of sprinkles, dude. You killed that Did shit. I, I used the uniform one, that's yeah. too much, Becky. It's too much. It's too much. And there we go. Old school. Hi, oh. So put him. Put that there. Let me just move these ones. And then I'm going to build it up to have mash, mustard mash. I'm so proud of my mash tonight. It looks really good. It's just mashed so we've potatoes. Got mustard mash. I don't know why so many, like, it's mashed potatoes, right? Like, it doesn't take that long or that much effort to make mashed potatoes. Sure, you can imbue it with ingredients and flavor it in a particular way, but. Most of the time, it's just mashed potatoes, and that takes little to no effort, but good on you, Becky. Actually using ingredients and cooking things with pots, so great. Ooh. Damn, scrape up that Teflon with a metal spoon. Damn, that's a lot. Mash. 
It's a fuck ton, I was dude. Like, I, last night on live, I come up with this. Someone put it, and then I was like, I am doing that tomorrow. Bro, what are you even doing? Why are you just setting yourself up for failure? Going on live so people could just tell you to eat more food? That's literally just like people enabling you. It's That's terrible. So we've got mash, and then we've got these. You didn't even properly distribute the mash. Bramley apple sausages. Now, I think that's Ugh. what they're called. Big as fuck. <laughs> Damn, they're big as hell. Two. Three? <laughs> God damn, that's a lot. There we go. And then we have got... Oh, More? What else is there? Then we have got some broccoli. Okay, some green stuff. In there. One. It's like a little... Two um, broccolis. Bowl. Didn't even cut it up. That's just going to be hard to swallow. Some broccoli and also oh. some carrots. Okay. I mean, the ratio is kind of off, but you can just really I go guess. Anywhere. Obviously, it's all right if it doesn't all go in the Yorkshire pudding, but what what makes this what pudding I'm aimed for? <laughs> right. Can somebody more. can somebody let me know what makes this pudding? Pieces of broccoli. It's broccoli. Is it a it's different like, like terminology? Like they're putting in. They're putting compared to ours is different. Is that? Beta, what? I don't know. Right? It's looking so cute. And then I've got my gravy. This is onion gravy, but burnt my onions. Okay. So, and I'm not a biggest fan of green. just pour that shit on there, dude. So, we're just gonna put it on. Look at me trying to be all chefy. Dude, just pour that shit. Ah! Ugh. No, that's just ruined my plate. So what? <laughs> I was doing so well keeping it in the bowl. Right, okay. I'm gonna show you it now. Dude, she got that blue tiger camo back in from Modern Warfare 4, Modern Warfare 1. Let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about, dude. One sec. I am so excited for it. Look. Uh, she's just so excited about everything. She actually wiped away the fucking, the, the, the shit. Do you guys see that? Regardless, guys, we're going to end the video here. Thank you, everybody, that enjoyed today's video. I appreciate for everybody. If you watched the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, by the way. If you did enjoy today's video, I appreciate if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in oil because i have uh coconut plus mint pulling oil and this is for your teeth apparently to brighten them because somebody said my teeth are starting to get brown so i'm going to take the initiative and brighten my teeth as much as i possibly can because having white teeth is essential apparently so i am going to do that and i'm going to successfully do that because i am devoted I even have specialized tooth, toothpaste for it. But anyway, guys, um, speaking of white teeth, yours are so incredibly white, so beautiful, so amazing. Uh, having white teeth is superior, apparently, and that's the only time you can ever say being white is superior, and that's, you know, has to do with your teeth, so it's not racist, or maybe it might be racist, but I don't think it's racist. Anyway, your teeth are beautiful, your teeth are amazing, your teeth smell so good, your breath is really good, you smell really good today, you are really good. Thank you for watching today's video. If you watch, uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description it's just my instagram twitter discord it'll all be linked down below enjoy the rest of your day guys 